Hi, I'm Kimberly, and I'm excited to show you our second classic and vintage quilt. In this classic and vintage series, we're going to take a timeless quilt block and freshen it for today. We found this lovely antique table runner, and it's got great basket blocks with applique handles. So what we did was we went ahead and converted this into a piece block so it's going to be a lot easier and faster for you to piece. Today we're featuring 1930s Bella Solids by Moda Fabrics, but since this block is so simple, lots of different fabrics would work with it. Download the free pattern at Fat Quarter Shop, and best of all, this pattern comes in three sizes, table runner, crib, and lap. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of these cute basket blocks. You're going to be using one background fabric and one basket fabric. Before you cut your fabrics, starch and iron them, and then just refer to your free pattern for instructions on cutting. I've cut my fabrics and put them on my design board and labeled them with my alpha bitties. So let's get sewing. Let's start with a fabric J rectangle and a fabric B square. We're going to put the fabrics right sides together and pin at the very end. And then we're going to go to our sewing machine. We're going to use a 2.0 stitch length a coordinating thread, and a quarter inch seam allowance. So now we're going to press. You just set your seam and then press toward the darker fabric. And in the pattern, you'll just follow your pressing arrows that we have listed for you. Let's keep adding to our block. First, add a fabric eye rectangle. And when you sew and press, it will look like this. Then we're going to add a fabric F rectangle to the left. And then to the top, we're going to add a fabric E rectangle. From there, we're going to take our fabric G square and we're going to draw on the wrong side we're going to draw a line right in the center from tip to tip. We're going to put our square on the bottom right section and we're going to pin in place. I'm going to use two pins and then we're going to sew directly on the line from point to point. Now take your block and cut a quarter inch away from your stitch line. Press towards your basket fabric and your basket unit should measure five and a quarter square. Now we're going to make our basket bases. Take your fabric gauge squares and draw on the wrong side from corner to corner. Then lay your fabric H square on one corner of a fabric D rectangle, watching the placement in your pattern. Then sew directly on the line and press towards your basket fabric. Now we're going to make our basket side unit. You're going to use one of your fabric A rectangles and your side basket base. You just stitch with a quarter inch seam and it's going to look like this. And then we need to make our basket bottom unit. We're going to use our remaining fabric A rectangle our fabric C square, and our bottom basket base. Make sure you place it exactly like the pattern shows, and it will look like this. To finish the block, you just need to sew a vertical seam here, and then this horizontal seam, and then you have a lovely 1930s block that finishes at 7 inches square. 
What block would you like to see in our next Classic and Vintage series? Subscribe and let us know. See you next time.